Hello everyone, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. In this series, you will see me, mom, chalking with my daughter. She is a chalk tour designer. Her page is Chalking Where the Sidewalk Ends. She does have a YouTube channel. She has a Facebook and a website. So go check her out over on the Facebook group to be able to catch our lives in person. If you don't catch our lives in person, you can watch the full replay on her channel or you can watch an edited version right here on my channel. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to get notified next time I upload another Monday with Mom or any one of my other crafty videos. Welcome to Chalking Where the Sidewalk In. So we decided to do Mondays with Mom. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, you're probably wondering what chalk couture is. Uh, we sell silk screen adhesive backed reusable transfers and chalk paste that goes on wet and dries hard, but it comes off with water. Uh, we also sell couture ink, which can be used with our transfers in the same way, except for that it stays permanent. Our transfers, inks, and paste can be used on a lot of different surfaces, and it's just a super cool, fun, easy way to create your own DIY designs and have never heard about Chalk Couture, if you can just put a one down in the comments so that I know. If you're still fairly new, you don't really know a lot about it, um, but you want to know a little bit more and you're not already working with a designer, you can put a two down in the comments. I'd love to be your designer. And if you already have a designer or you are a designer and you're just here for the fun, put a number three. Tonight, we are doing the Throw Kindness Around Like Confetti transfer and we're going to put it on this shadow box that we have. So I've already taken out the glass and the, oh, Kelly says hi, or <laughs> Jen says hi, Kelly. Hi, Jen. <laughs> we put, I already took out the glass and put it on the table for mom to work on. We do have the black sheet underneath of here that you don't normally see just to give it a little more of a cushion and padding underneath. So hopefully that will help with the glass not being directly on the table. Right, so mom is going to start by cutting up the transfer. This is a two-part transfer, so you can see on that there is a white line going through that she is going to cut on. And when cutting apart your transfers, you always want to make sure that you label the back of them so that you know what part went on which. I mean, this one's kind of got a wonky directional cut, but sometimes it's just a straight square. So you always want to label the back so you know what piece goes on which backer sheet, but also so you know which way it goes onto the backer sheet. So while she's cutting that, I just want to go back to this uh, shadow box real quick before we put it off to the side so it's not in the way. It's kind of hard to see on the camera here, but this backer here is actually made from cardstock paper. And it is kind of like a pocketed thing so that you can put pictures in it. So since we are doing a handheld video tonight, and there is one part where we are going to have to wash the transfer to come back and move it over and do a little bit more. I am a... See that? In the pocket. Okay, so when I go away to clean the transfer off for a minute so we can reuse it, I'm going to hand mom the phone and she will tell you a little bit about how she made this nifty paper pocket. Okay, so back to are throw kindness around like confetti so like i said with the labeling i've already labeled the back so i have throw kindness on this one and confetti on the other one so we're just peeling it off the backer sheet <coughs> excuse me and placing it down on the fuzzing towel so you want to make sure it doesn't fold back on itself because it is sticky and adhesive backed we're going to fuzz this up now the reason for fuzzing is so that your transfer does not stick to your surface completely. We want it to stick. We want it to stick enough for the paste to go through the silk screen um, area without bleeding. However, we do not want it to stick so well that when we pull it up off the surface, it actually stretches out the transfer. Now, because this is glass, we want to take even more precaution to really really fuzz this up so we're going to do it like four or five six times make sure it is completely sufficiently fuzzed <clears throat> don't want all that resistance 
I keep telling Mandy I'm going to steal this cloth for my glasses because it really cleans my glasses well. This is our fuzzing cloth. It is actually, I think, like 8 by 12, but we do just have it folded in half. The one side is terry cloth, so that gives all the little loopies to sufficiently fuzz to transfer. And then the other side is microfiber. So that's really good for cleaning off your surfaces. Um, I actually used it to clean off the glass, not clean it off, but just to kind of buff out any fingerprints that were on the glass. It is a very nice cloth, but mom likes to clean her actual eyeglasses with it. <coughs> okay, so this transfer is a B size. So the entire um, silk screen transfer confetti part is not going to fit completely on our glass. So what we're going to do is we are going to put it off to the one side and do all the way over until you can kind of see like the confetti falls on the edges here. It falls down a little bit. That's why it's got that wonky cutout in the middle. So we're only going to paste over until where it starts to fall down. And then we're going to lift. That's where I'm going to go wash the transfer. And then we're going to come back and move it over to finish off the last uh, piece of the glass edging there. Ready? Here we go. Here goes nothing. You should use your finger to swirl around the colors individually. So one finger for teal, one finger for white, just to swirl them and kind of get them right close to each other and have them like touching, but not really mix, mix per se. And She's... then when you squeegee, that's when it does the whole super mixing. She... You're a backseat driver too, Mandy. She sounds like a backseat <laughs> crafter. Probably. Now, should yeah. I pull this up? Right, yeah, pull it up. Just uh, like. If I get cut again. Don't. Yeah, she already cut herself on glass the other day because she decided to wash a piece of picture frame glass in the sink with nothing like on it. Just out of the picture frame, in the sink, and in the dark, might I say, <laughs> and cut her finger. She doesn't understand why that wasn't a smart thing to do. Ooh, don't stretch, don't stretch. Okay, so we don't want to stretch. So I'm just going to kind of give her a little bit of assistance here. This is definitely gripping the glass. So we just want to pull that back just to reveal what we've already done so it doesn't dry up. Do you have any like, spots that are. One more. I'm going to go in the center. That's it. Okay, all right. And now we're just going to dry that real quick and then we can lay the transfer back down over top now when we lay it back down over top we're not gonna like push push we're just gonna leave it so I'm sorry about the noise um, oh Vicki was saying that she does that too she is bossy with her husband and yes her husband I knew what she meant me <laughs> whose project is this <laughs> Sam said I tell my preschoolers art is never wrong that's the beauty of it that's right, Sam. That's what I said. And Vicky said, what would you do without me? Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You do get very picky. Should I just So do... now see how this is kind of curling back? That's because it got a little bit too stretched out because of it sticking to the glass. So hopefully it didn't stretch too bad to where it'll actually like mess up anything. But you do want to be very, very careful when you're peeling back anything. If it's giving you resistance, go super slow, 
take it a little bit at a time, get an extra hand in there if you need to. And now because these aren't really mixed, we can actually just put them back in the jar. I if just mixed them. them. Well, over here, there's not enough to mix, so. Now, I've never had it dry out to where I needed the paper towel yet, so I'm just going to kind of, it's not wet, it's just damp, but I'm just going to place it over it and just kind of like rub it that way. So and this way feel... it doesn't get the paste to stick onto the transfer and it will stay on the glass. Right? It should, yes. It should kind of put some moisture back into the paste. So that when we peel up, it comes out of the transfer. Because what happens, guys, is if the paste dries in the transfer, it's not going to go through the silk screen. It's going to basically just sit on top of the screen. Is this like really fuzzed and it's just really sticking? I or think it's think you might not have had it. But... Nikki said she loves your project. Your project, not mine. <laughs> I feel like there was like not enough fuzz on this. I, I can't even. Okay. I'm gonna go wash this. Hopefully, save it because it just stuck to itself. Okay, okay. You can clean up these couple of dots that went down too far and then if you want to talk about your uh, papery thing. Okay, we didn't want to put it down here because when we move the transfer over to do this side, we didn't want it to trickle down here, here, and the sides. We just wanted it down on these sides. So I think that's probably good. Alright. <clears throat> This is the shadow box it's going to go in. And I made this backing. What I did is I just took strips of paper and made little pockets so you can put photos or... Of course there's no photos here, right? Hold on. Little memorabilia things going across in the little slots. One here, here, and they go all the way across. So there's several going up. And I just glued paper on top of each other to give it that effect. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna fuss this one up good.
said it could. Um, I have a dish behind me on this desk to help with. So we're just going to drop that transfer into the water. Since we are all done with that, I will clean it off completely when we're done. And I'm just kind of trying to get a, a good shot without the lighting up top. Oops. And there we go. Yep. Alright, so now we are going to come back with the confetti and uh, do that top part there. <clears throat> All right, so now we are just doing this last little piece. So you want to put it here, you know, lined up as best as you can. Once you hit to where you already kind of have paste, you don't want to really push it down any further because you don't want it to pull up what you already have. You want to just slightly overlap it so that you have a blend and not a harsh line, but you don't want to pull up what's already there. So we're popping out the backing and the paper that mom made. So, see the little slits a little better that way. And it just glued it onto a thicker piece of card uh, cardboard. <laughs> 